Hey there, thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Spiritual Scientist. I'm Victor, thanks for checking me out. So today I'm going to talk to you about some Mandela effects, or recent ones, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to talk about the world leaders for a minute. Uh, they call him now the president of China, president, um, instead of chairman. As I recall, it was always the chairman, but now he's the president. Uh, president Z, uh, XI is now uh, Z Zing, uh, Jing. So it's, uh, he has another last name. So it starts with a J, J, it's uh, four words. I can't pronounce it. But anyway, uh, so that's one thing that changed. Um, and then you have uh, Vladimir Zelensky, which his name's word salad, keeps changing his first name, his last name. He has two Y's, now he has one Y, now he has two Y's, now he has one Y. Uh, Google him or uh, go on the internet, you don't have to use Google, do a search, you'll see all over is one Y and two Y's, it's still happening. Okay. Um, and then an older one is, uh, you know, this Jong Kim, so leader of North Korea. It's not, uh, uh, you know, Kim, and it hasn't been for a while now. It's uh, Kim Jong Un. So, I mean, you're going to, you know, you see so many Koreans. They're all last names Kim. So the only one that has a different last name for than Kim is the leader of the whole country. Now is Kim Jong Un. Um, as I recall, for me, it was always uh, Kim was the last name. Well, it was about, I guess, 10 years ago, maybe less, it changed. Anyway, uh, those are some quick Mandela effects about world leaders with their names changing. Been seeing that a lot. Um, the other thing that's a big, big change, I just thought I'd mention it to you, is uh, David Copperfield. So I just saw it this morning, and that's a pretty big one. So um, David Copperfield, uh, watched him when I was a kid, you know, when it was big news when David Copperfield did a, a stunt, uh, did a magic trick, and it was on, as I recall, Channel 7, and everybody paid attention to it. Um, you know, you would talk about, hey, David Copperfield's going to be on this week, you know, um, wasn't something to be missed. And I can recall the last big trick that he did, he made a jumbo jet disappear. So that was a pretty big one. Um, so he made that disappear and everybody's like, wow. I'm, I'm almost remembering that he made some building disappear, but I don't think so. I think it was just a jet. Um, so anyway, now uh, I just watched a video this morning, a historical vid that David Copperfield has his legs crossed and he floats over the Grand Canyon. Um, needless to say, oh, uh, Evil Knievel. Evil's name is now spelled differently. It was evil, not E-V-E-L. It was evil, but whatever. Um, kind of remember it both ways now. But David Copperfield crosses his legs and crosses the Grand Canyon. Um, I just watched a video. It's kind of weird. Uh, first of all, I get that's a magic trick and somehow he did it. Um, they're saying that back then that they didn't have the special effects to do this kind of a magic trick. So how did he do it? And he literally crossed his legs uh, like he was sitting and he, he flew across the Grand Canyon. Okay, I think I would have remembered if he flew across the Grand Canyon and everybody would have remembered. Uh, not a lot of people remembering this as far as I can see online. Um, but that's really, really strange uh, that he got up and, and flew across the Grand Canyon. It's kind of a mind-blowing, uh, you know, Mandela effect where this... I don't recall. He said they said he did it in, in front of national television, like with the international audience. Everybody knew about this trick. Well, I was alive then, and uh, I didn't watch it. Never heard of it before now. Um, so 
what do you think? Do you think this is a timeline shift? Do you think it's just fake? Um, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, like, subscribe, share. I hope you're having a, hope you're having a great day. All right, bye-bye.